Hi, this is Val, the writer and producer of The Heart of Ether, as well as the voice of Rosemary Quinn. I know this doesn't go along with our usual every other week schedule, and we will still be having episode 10 go up next week as per usual, ironically enough, on Christmas Day. Before that happened, though, we just wanted to squeeze in this short little holiday special of Irene during her freshman year of college. It's complete fluff, but with what's to come, we think you deserve it. We at Three-Eyed Frog hope you are all having a safe and happy holiday season, no matter what you're celebrating, even if you're just celebrating the fact that you're still alive. Have a lovely day, and please enjoy the Heart of Ether holiday bonus episode. Please state your message. first time celebrating the holiday season without you. I got some eggnog the other day. I know you didn't like it much, so I never drank it. I haven't had it in about, what, two years? I think I used to like it. We're about to find out, because now I have a whole carton to myself. Anyways, your aunts celebrate Yule, right? They actually invited me to fly down and spend part of my break with them, but... I said no. Ella said they're gonna send me a gift though, which is nice. Dorms close tomorrow, technically, but my roommate already flew back home a week ago. I'm gonna stay with my dad till the new year. Tonight, it seems I have the whole night all to myself. Alone in my room. Drinking eggnog. Wahoo. When I went to the store to get eggnog, I got recognized by Tyler Rivera. He was a year below us in high school, so that must make him a senior now. God, that makes me feel old. I think he was part of robotics, too. He was cool, I guess. Well, when I saw him, he was with his mom, and I think she was the only reason he came up to talk to me. He asked if... if, if you and I had anything planned. You and Rose always go drive around and look at Christmas lights in rich neighborhoods, right? He said. I remember you bringing it up at some point. I don't remember which conversation he was even talking about, but I guess at some point we were talking and he was around. Anyways, somehow he didn't know. I I had to tell him you, you know, I had to tell him about what. Yeah. Guess he just doesn't keep up with school drama. I mean, well, I mean, does it count as school drama if we've already graduated? Still, I thought everyone in that godforsaken school knew by now, but I guess not. Him and his mom both apologized profusely. It, it took a lot of effort not to break down crying right then and there, and just got my eggnog and left after that. Is that what I'm always going to be known as to people now? Some poor, miserable widow. I just, I know I don't, uh... Great. Now I'm sure that when he goes back to school, he's gonna talk all about it, and it's gonna be the topic of discussion again, and I just, I don't want to be some sort of sob story to those kids anymore, all right? I'm so sick of it. What do I have to... <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna... Hold on, fuck this. The cashier at the drugstore gave me this really concerned look when I slammed a pair of salon scissors onto the counter. I'm still kind of thinking about it. What do you think they thought I was doing with these? Also, sorry if you hear the music in the background. These people are having a 
very loud Christmas celebration even when they know other people are trying to sleep and Christmas is at least a week away. <sighs> Thought I'd get along with other liberal arts kids. Guess not. Straight up, I was just walking back to my dorm the other day and this Miss Snowball shot knocked the coffee I just bought out of my hand and I'm still pissed about it. <laughs> Why did I even think being an English major was a good idea? All I do is read Sylvia Plath and start crying because you loved Sylvia Plath and then I start crying again 20 minutes later because I have a paper that's only halfway done but I can't focus on the paper because I'm just thinking about you again. Maybe I should just study, I don't know, trees? I like trees. They're a hot commodity this time of year. Do you think the people who study trees would be cool and not knock coffee out of my hand? They seem like they'd be cool. Would that be biology or... Damn, what is it called? Forestry? I'll email my advisor and see if I can switch. It might be too late, but we'll see, I guess. Well, my hair could look a lot worse, I think. Considering the fact that my hands are super shaky, I think I did something. Enough that maybe Tyler Rivera won't come up to me in the grocery store anymore. Yeah, I like it. I'm a brand new person. Kicking off the holiday season in the new year with as many life changes as I can cram in there last minute. I literally could have just started wearing a hoodie. I used to really like my hair. Today's quote is, and I came here, trying to find answers for the difficulties that my world is experiencing. Instead, I found myself falling in love with your world, and wanting to protect its people from harm. But it seems like people weren't especially interested in listening to me, which I can't blame them for. I did try to remain sort of mysterious and clandestine about my warnings. That was my undoing. Griffin McElroy in the Adventure Zone, Amnesty, 2018 The Heart of Ether is a podcast made by Three-Eyed Frog Presents. It is written and produced by Val West. The voice of Irene Gray is Luca Miller. Music is produced by Luca Miller. Thanks to How To Stuffs on YouTube for the music used in today's episode. To follow the show and find transcripts, you can follow us on Twitter and Tumblr at Heart of Ether. Questions and comments can be emailed to us at heartofether at gmail.com. Want to help support the show? Rate and review us on iTunes and Podchaser, and talk about the show using hashtag HeartOfEtherPod. Thank you for listening.